this session. I will upload over the website so you guys can take this from me. Okay. So I'll sharing my screen. My screen is visible to all, right? Is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so before starting with the class, let's give me uh, let me give you the overview. What are the different topics we will going to cover in this development training and how what will be the flow? Okay, so first thing is we will going to work upon the Salesforce Apex. Okay, in this Salesforce Apex, first thing we will going to discuss about the basic about the Salesforce Apex programming. Okay, what are the how we will use to declare the variables? What are collections here? And then uh, what is the use of Apex? What are its features? How Apex work from the user end and from the developer end also? We will going to discuss all these different points in the Apex basics. What are the data types we are having in this Apex classes? Then after covering about the basic Apex, we will going to move to this collection. So this collection is the most important part or will going to play a very important role in your Salesforce development. So if uh, I, I uh, when I will going to start with this collection, I suggest everyone to have a regular or a consistency when you are uh, doing with these collections because this is a very important uh, topic which will going to act as a base for your complete Salesforce development. Whatever the logic you will going to handle, it will be handled using the collections only. Okay, so whatever the scenarios we will going to discuss and whatever the hands-on scenarios I will going to give you to practice, you have to do it and wherever you will going to face any issues, do let me know, we'll going to cover it. Then after covering the collection, we're going to move towards the SOSL and SOQL. So these are the two languages which will going to help us to play with the Salesforce data. So the first one is the query language. This query language will going to give, uh, to give us the records from the Salesforce and this will going to help us to search the data from the Salesforce record. So these two query languages are used in our Apex code only, which will going to help us to play with the Salesforce data. Then the next we will going to discuss about the data manipulation language, which we known as the DML operations, right? DML operations like insert, update, delete, same we used to have in our SQL. Similarly, we're going to have here also, We'll discuss about the DML, how we use them in our Apex code. All the things will be discussed here. Then we have best practices to write the Apex classes. So what are the best practices to write an Apex class? When, uh, when to use the loops, when to use queries, what are the different uh, points we should keep in mind when we are working with the classes? We will going to learn in this best practices. Then at last questions will be given to you another exercise where it will be a mix up of all the thing that is the collection SOQL, DMLs and the best practices, everything. Okay. Then covering this will comes to the Apex triggers. So Apex trigger is another important point. Either you are experienced person or a Salesforce a fresher also. Based on your experiences, you will going to... Uh, get uh, scenarios in your interview related to the triggers only because triggers are the one which will going to help us or the interviewer how good you are in the logicals okay so in this epic triggers the three first three will be the theoretical part that is the about the epic trigger type of triggers context variables and the trigger events all this we will going to discuss in this epic trigger then after completing this we'll move directly to this before triggers, after triggers, side by side, when I will be explaining about the before trigger, we will be uh, working on the scenarios, okay? And then after completing this before trigger, I will give you the sheet where the multiple scenarios will be there. You have to work on them. And then accordingly, we'll discuss about the doubts, okay? Then we will going to come to this asynchronous epics. So asynchronous epics is another, uh, good point when it comes to theoretical questions. So most of the theoretical questions will be asked from this asynchronous epics. So we'll discuss first about the asynchronous synchronous, why there is a need of asynchronous and what is the difference between all these synchronous and asynchronous. Okay, 
then comes the types of synchronous apex we are having like future method queuable apex batch apex schedule apex so we'll be discussing all these different points with the scenarios okay what are the different different uh, scenarios used to come using this future method queuable apex we'll be discussing all about this then the points to remember about all these four we'll discuss and then the most important point is this one calling one synchronous apex asynchronous apex from another so this is the most important point here uh, from the interview perspective okay then the at last again the questions will be given which will going to contains uh, theoretical questions also and the scenario based questions also and the apex code questions also related to particular topic that is the asynchronous apex then we'll come to the salesforce integration okay so salesforce integration in this we're going to uh, check about the api basics restful web services api rest methods okay what are the different rest methods we are having web services url mapping what are how we used to integrate with external service using all these things and what is the difference between them by uh, when to go with url mappings when to go with rest methods okay what are their syntax everything then we'll discuss about the connected apps name and credential so these two are the another basic topics from which number of questions come okay we're going to create them we're going to use them uh, give by giving this scenario i will going to give you the scenario so in which you will going to use them which makes you more clear about these two points then the will next discuss about the types of integration and then again last will be the questions to practice then after completing this will comes to another hot topic which is the lightning web component so again if you are experienced person so everyone going to demand you about the web components how much experience you are having here and even if you are a fresher also then the basic knowledge of web components will be a plus point for you to uh, make you away from the crowd okay so here as many are there who are not aware about the coding or from the non coding area uh, background so we, we uh, so for them we will going to have a basic javascript sessions also so whatever the javascript is need, needed in this web components we will going to cover in this basic javascript so directly we will not going to uh, move to this web components first we will going to have a lectures on the javascripts once you are able to aware about the javascript how we create the variables how to call the methods then we will going to move with this web components so here aura and lwc comparison will be done so directly uh, in depth we will not going to go with this aura because no one will going to ask you about the aura more will be focused on the uh, lwc but the questions which are asked in the interview will be the comparison between both and where the aura is still needed so these type of questions we will discuss related to the aura okay then we'll have the decorators life cycle hooks parent child child parent communication lms pub sub model so these are again the basic topics which are needed to if you are uh, moving with the web component so you should have a knowledge about all these basic topics and then at last after covering all these thing we'll going to have a lwc scenarios and the project so real time project uh, scenarios will be there like what client requirement usually were there related to web components same requirements will be given to you to work on okay which makes you more perfect and confident in this lwc now after this also all these five are coding topics on which you have to focus more if you are preparing for the development interviews okay then the next will be the certification preparation so two main uh, certifications we are having here the pd1 and the pd2 we will going to discuss about both the certification and what type of questions are there we will be providing some sample questions also okay to practice if you are if you want to prepare for the certifications and then the hands on projects will be there real time scenarios we will be sharing uh, after the topics also and then after la at last we will going to have this career job role discussion if anyone is looking for the jobs or looking for the career path so we'll going to discuss everything and then resume building if anyone needs any help in the resume unlimited mock interviews will be there for the development okay so this is an overview of the course structure we will going to cover in this salesforce development training okay 
Any question from anyone till here? Yeah, can you can this is Sagar again? Yes. Yeah, I see on the LWC why there is no inclusion of HTML and CSS. So Your, HTML uh, are they CSS. part of that? Yeah, HTML and CSS will come here only. Where is the uh, let me go to the this caption? Okay, so HTML and, and the CSS will be covered here only in tech, whatever the different scenarios we will be working. But the most more important uh, uh, for this LWC is the basic JavaScript because the more coding will be done using the JavaScript only. So HTML and the CSS are the UI part. Okay, so again, if someone is from non-coding area or the background, for them HTML is again a new. Right, so we're going to have a lecture on that also. Like, if someone is completely not uh, no aware, not aware about the HTML, so we're going to include the HTML and CSS also here. But yeah, the JavaScript is the most important topic here before moving to the web components. Okay, yeah. Uh, with this, we'll include the HTML and the CSS also. No worries. Okay. Any other question? Any query? Okay, are we covering how we are covering the test classes for asynchronous process? Yes, test classes will be covered here in this uh, asynchronous and the Apex trigger. Okay. Okay. Test classes yeah. will be there. So whatever the scenarios we will be working side by side, will go with the test classes also for both these topics. So so that you will going to have an idea about uh, with the test classes also. There is no need to go with test classes with the LWC or the integration. These two topics are enough to get to know about the test classes. Okay. So for the Apex figure and the asynchronous Apex, we will side by side work on test classes also. Okay. 